par. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you hit Jace, that'll make it all better because he's like yeah. sixty yeah, Jace, or something. Yeah, Jace. Now. Need, Jace is gonna come down big when people. We can only when hope people so. don't realize he's as good as people advertise. Because I've been playing with him on he, workstation. I mean, he's fantastic, but he's not Bane Slayer. People are saying he's going to be a blue Tarmogoyf, and where Legacy and Vintage decks are going to run him as a three and four up. Hmm. Really? That's what. That's what I'm hearing. Oh. I mean, I don't believe it any more than you do. Finally, but, finally, hey. I got a damn chalice. Chalice, charge to feed. Permafrost trap, all good uncommons. Another yeah. cultist, damn. But I had good uncommons, so it kind of like makes up for it. Three good uncommons. But the chalice I've been looking for for wart. That reminds me, somebody got a foil ever flowing chalice in their uh, box. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. I mean, the non foil version looks cool enough as is. Yeah. Another chalice. Another Adel, oh, damn it. The Merfolk Legend. Yeah. But you do yeah. get duplicate rares in a small set, so. I mean, yeah, it's to be expected. But I think they got the collation, they, the collation issues fixed because, um, I think one guy got a triplicate, uh, triplicate rare in, uh, in his box, so it seems safe to say that they got the collation problems fixed. Or they just randomized their pattern a bit better. Yeah, either that or they, they just jump, dump all the packs into a drum and pack them randomly like that. Yeah, um, another ricochet trap, a nemesis trap, and a wolf... Nemesis trap and is a pretty wolf good. Wolfbriar's going to see play, and also, uh, Wolfbriar's going into Wart. Oh, Just yeah, that... Go, uh, four, ah. A 4-4, four, four, and then I sink all this mana. I'm going to kick Wolfbriar Elemental 30 times. Yeah, and you still have enough mana for Overrun. Hmm. With more, with the more token production in there, I should put Overrun in that deck. Yeah. How many Razor Boomerangs have you found? I haven't been paying attention. I don't think I've found too many. That's good, because I mean, seriously, yeah. five damage, five mana for one damage. It's worse than Rod of Ruin, almost. It's literally worse than Rod of Ruin. Another Leatherback, another Nemesis Trap, another Permafrost Trap, another Archon. All I've got a good. set of those now. Just from this box, or just, just in total? Just in total, and I've only opened uh, six packs of this set before opening this box. Wow. Another Deaths, that's my third, I believe. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. That's what you said. Because yeah. you, you should get a place out of every common, and then a place out of most uncommons out of a box, especially out of a small set. Uh, that's what the... Uh numbers say. Wow, that surprises me. I haven't numbers. hit a Loam Lion yet, but I just hit one. Alright. I mean, Loam Lion's a good uncommon. It's a buck and a another, quarter. Another I'm selective right. memory and a foil rest for the weary. Mm. Rest for the weary. Yeah, that's, that's cool it's looking, powerful, but... It's a pretty powerful life gain spell. Yeah, but it's life gain. Yeah, I know. I know. It's... Like I'm actually like if I go um if if I try to put white in rune flare I'm gonna side rest Obviously. because it's really good against Boros. <laughs> Another refraction trap. I don't know where to put these because I don't know if they're gonna see play. Because eh. honestly, isn't Harm's way better? Harm's Way is situationally better. Oh, I, I finally hit my next mythic, Rexiel. Rex? The blue-black kraken. 
He looks fun to play around with. Memory Plunder on a 5-8 Memory Plunder on a 5-8 Island Walk Swamp Walk. This is very true. Think about how many people play blue and black in EDH. Oh, absolutely. And if you may you make him your general, or do you just run him in the deck? I'm probably just going to put him in um, someplace. Because my only real blue-black thing is... Actually, what if I put him in um, in Child? Oh, that'd be fun. Another Chalice. Another Ricochet Trap. <sighs> oh. Ricochet Trap, I think, is going to see some play. Goliath Sphinx. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful artwork. Crappy, crappy card. card, yeah. Vanilla, vanilla cards aren't interesting anymore, Wizards. Even if they are, like, five fours for three, they're not interesting. Yeah. Um, although, you gotta have some vanilla. I mean, if every creature had an effect. Right. I, I know, right. but even, even still, you get my... Get my idea. Right. Another smother. Another nemesis trap. Celestial Colonnade. Finally, I'm hitting the manlands. Celestial Colonnade is pretty Isn't good. Isn't that the most expensive manland? Uh, they're all about 750 with the exception of Lava Claw Reaches, which is 6 well, I wonder but why Lava Claw Reaches eight. would be less. I think it's one of the best ones. I'm actually going to be running, because what I'm actually thinking about doing is taking Jun to Nest tonight, and uh, instead of Dragon, instead of uh, Akrum Refuge, I'm going to play Lava Claw Reaches. I've got huh. one. But yeah, all the other man lands are in the six to, are in the seven dollar They'll range. They'll go up yeah. when people re Spirit when people Wild realize that they're the best man lands five. ever. I have Ugin's up to four bucks, but that's just because of the rampant speculation. Yeah. Uh, Blood Husk Ritualist, that'll probably see play. I'm sure it will. Permafrost. Amulet of Vigor, finally. Oh, I have a foil. Uh, Voyager Drake. Amulet of Vigor's still three fifty. Yeah, and somebody's gonna somebody's gonna try to break that. With the amount of lands that come to play sideways in EDH, do you really need to try to break it? Or do you, 